Upon its release, The Incredible Hulk was a colossal failure at the box office and Universal pulled back on making new films. But now that Disney owns the Hulk wholesale and they don't need to share him, we've heard rumors about a potential World War Hulk film. But rumors are suggesting that before that, they want a standalone Incredible Hulk 2. I always feel like I was an Incredible Hulk hipster. I remember when the film opened up, I was the only one that bought advanced tickets. I was the only one that actually enjoyed it more than Iron Man 1. I know, it's absolutely insane. I was the one that was so hyped for Hulk to appear in Avengers and hopes of Incredible Hulk 2 and seeing where they're going with the character. But again, I've always been a giant fan of the Hulk and his supporting cast. So the fact that it's been so long and we haven't gotten a standalone project thanks to Universal is now something of history. They can now effectively make new films. So we know that The Incredible Hulk is obviously going to keep making cameos in projects and having supporting roles, but what happens with his next outing? We've heard multiple times it's going to be World War Hulk, featuring Red Hulk, She-Hulk, Scar, and various other Hulking characters, Atom Bomb, for example, and so forth. But according to brand new rumors and reports, Marvel Studios wants to slow down a bit and give fans a little bit more Hulk before we get to that. Instead of just tossing him right into a giant war of Hulks, they gotta give us at least one more look into the Hulk's world with some of these returning characters. This is where reports are starting to surface that Marvel has changed plans, and instead, an Incredible Hulk 2 is coming. Now, it's not gonna be called The Incredible Hulk 2, I think most people understand. It would probably be called, I don't know, Hulk gamma rain or i don't know come up with something stupid and witty that's a catchy subtitle something that's a good marketing buzz term right they can come up with that but i do honestly believe that there is something to this because the hulk does need to be reintroduced to a whole new audience because he's just kind of been a guest star appearing with a couple cameos here or there always being a supporting role they got to take the character in a somewhat different direction maybe you know age him and his son up a little bit show us that dynamic and then when they get to world war hulk we can see him fully go unleashed because by the end of this film incredible hulk 2 he would essentially have somewhat regressed right because that's what you would need for an incredible hulk film you can't have smart hulk all the time like he would have to regress at some point so you can get to a more all-out war with the whole world war hulk planet hulk thing so if this is true and i do believe it is It'll be interesting to see just what the messaging here is. But I actually believe that an Incredible Hulk sequel would make pretty good amounts of bank for Disney and Marvel. Not because it's the most demanded thing, because it has a legacy to it now. And I think some people are looking for that nostalgia. 